Hey ladies, it's Jill Lovett, and I had a request to do tutorials on both of the flowers that I showed last night. Um, I'm first going to show y'all this one. And uh, this was not my original idea. It was by... I don't remember her name. Well, let's get started. What you're going to need is a 12 by 12 piece of paper. This will give you the rose and the puff flower that's in the next video. What you're going to do is you're going to cut 4x4, four, four, 4 this way, set this set aside, and then cut 3 4x4s. Four and you should get about 3 around 4. It doesn't matter if this, the last one is exactly 4 or not. It doesn't matter. It's going to be fine. So that's what you're going to do. You're going to cut them into 4x4 four four pieces. You're just going to need 3. And this is what it should look like. Okay, what you're going to do is you're going to take each piece and you're going to fold it this way. And then you're going to fold it in half again. And then you're going to fold it in half again. And then where it's folded the most, this corner, where it pops out like that, you're going to hold it like this. You're going to take your scissors and you're going to cut a petal shape. And then you're going to cut a little tip off. Can you do that? To make the hole. Now a 4x4 gets you a bigger flower and you can do smaller sizes. It all matters on you. But it doesn't matter if the petals are perfectly spaced or not. It, it's going to give it just as good of an effect. So, next what you're going to do, if you cut out all of them, you're going to have three flowers. What you're going to do is you're going to take your first one and you're going to cut two petals off the first one. And you're going to keep the two petal and you're going to keep the other petals as well. Then on the next one, you're going to cut out three petals. Okay, and you're going to keep those two. Then on the last one, you're going to cut that in half, so you're going to have four on each side. Then you're going to keep one four, and then on the other four, you're going to cut one petal off and discard the last three petals. Okay, now what you're going to do, you can distress or, um, you know, anything you want to these. And then you're going to take your largest one, and I'm using my two-way zig pen. Oh, and the tools you're going to need a paper trimmer, a skewer, and a hot glue gun or whatever your favorite adhesive is. I'm going to take my two-way zig pen, and I'm going to color it on one of the petals. Just one petal. I don't even do the whole petal, just half the petal. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take this petal and overlap it. And it doesn't matter if it's perfect, but you're going to overlap it to where it's sitting on top of the glue petal. And that will give you this shape. Set that aside. Go to your next one. Two-way that one. Do the same thing. And you'll gradually start losing a petal. Like, I mean, the, the um, six will turn into a five petal because you glue one on top of the other. Okay, that's what you should come out with. And then this one, you're going to do the same thing. And you're going to come out with a three petal. Like that. And this one's kind of tricky. But what I do is I color just like the rest of them, and then I fold this one over because this is the one that's going to be glued, and I'm going to fold it again, and then you'll still have this open, and then you can just, you know, pop it open like that. Okay, then these, these two don't get glued together. All you do is you're going to take your skewer and you're going to 
roll your petals down trying to hurry okay and you're gonna keep doing that and if you want to you can trim the uneven petal parts and you're gonna do the same one as the two one Where it looks like that and you're just gonna do that with all of your flower pieces When you get to the two one, you can roll them down, and then you can roll it up. And this is always tricky, but you got to kind of work with it. Then you can take your two way. I can get the cap off, and you're gonna glue that petal down. And I do it kind of loose so I can fit the middle piece in. Okay, so you're going to get that. But you can do it however you want. And then you're going to take your last piece and you're going to roll that petal down. And then you're going to try to do a tight roll. Like that. And then you're going to take your two way again and you're going to glue that flap down. I'm just going to hold it there for a little while until the, the, the zig way or whatever it's called can dry. And then you're going to get that. So now what you're going to do, don't need your zig pin anymore. Now what you're going to do is very simple. You're just going to glue them together. So, start with your biggest one first. You're going to lay that down. You're going to take your second largest, which is your four petal, and you're going to take your glue gun and you're going to go around the perimeter like that. And then you're just going to position it to where you want it and stick it in there and hold it there for a little while. And I like the hot glue gun because it works faster. So that's what you're going to get. And then you're going to take your three petal and you're going to do the same thing. Okay. And then you're going to position it to where you want it and you're going to shove it down in there. And then you're going to take your two petal. You're going to kind of fluff it out a little bit. Take your glue gun, do the same thing, and then position it to where you want it. I'm just going to put mine right there. And you can always recurl your petals, it doesn't matter. And then what you do is you can kind of test out how you want your middle piece to go. And then what I do is I take some hot glue and I shove it down in there and take my little piece and then shove that in there. Okay, and that's what you're going to get. And then you're going to do the same thing with this one as you did with the other ones. You're going to glue around the perimeter, and I like to get all over for this one. And you're going to take that, you're going to shove it down on your two one. And there you go. And then you can go back with your skewer and roll your petals down a little bit more if you're not happy with it. So that's it. That's how you do the rows. Thanks for tuning in. Watch out for the next video. Bye.